Hi friends, I'm Shelly. Today in this tutorial, I will be giving you some of the strategies and helpful tips for describe image task that comes in your PTE speaking module and is third assessed task in this module. So let's get started with a brief overview. Let's have a look which are those points that you need to keep in mind while doing your describe image task? The very first point is that there will be at least six to eight questions of this type in your speaking module. And for each question, you will have 25 seconds to analyze or to prepare and 40 seconds will be given to record your answer. And each task will be assessed out of 15 marks. That is 5 for your oral fluency, 5 for your pronunciation and last 5 will be for your content. Please remember each question may contain more than one image also. Right? So there could be 2 or 3 and that would be like a comparison being done between two or more than two images in a single question right so now let's have a look at some of the types of the images what types of images could appear in the speaking module describe image task so this task could have a bar graph which looks something like this to be precise it's a vertical bar graph in this case it's a vertical bar graph Next image type could be a table which is also called as a table of content or a tabular chart which normally includes the columns which are the vertical ones and the rows which come along the horizontal ones. So this is a table, a tabular chart. Third type is a line. In this case, it's a polyline graph as it includes more than one line. So, it will be a line graph. Both the names are correct for this graph, line graph as well as polyline graph. Next image could be the pie chart or the pie charts, which will be having slices something like this. So, as I told you earlier there could be more than two images in a single question also this shows the example of that image and it could be a single pie chart also which could appear something like this okay so let's move move forward next image could be a layout which looks something like this next image could be a map a map Next one could be a proportional bar graph. No doubt it seems like a bar graph, but as you can clearly see, there are more than two proportions given in a single bar. That is the reason it is called as the proportional bar graph. So different proportions given in a single bar. The name given is proportional bar graph. The very next image could be a combinational graph as it is clearly seen here. It includes a combination of a line as well as the bars. Line grows, goes from here to here. Bars can be seen in the yellow color. So this image will be known as the combinational graph. Next one could be a Venn diagram. So as you can see, <coughs> circles intersecting each other. So this appearance will be indicating the Venn diagram. Let's move over to the next type of image, which could be a flowchart, which is also known as a tree diagram, a flowchart, which includes separate steps or stages. So this is a flowchart. Next one could be a picture. As clearly seen, it's a clicked picture. So it's a picture. And last but not the least, the image could be a pictorial diagram so this is a pictorial diagram it could be a process chart or it could be a life cycle also okay friends so these types of images will be appearing in your speaking module for describe image task 
Now let's have a look. Now let's learn the five point formula for describing, describing an image. The five point formula includes five different points which you can follow up and it will make it easier for you to describe any kind of image. So it's a kind of template which I'll be giving you through this tutorial. So please focus on the points one on one. We'll be discussing it. The very first point you need to remember is you will mention the name of the image or the illustration given. As we saw in the previous slides that images could be a bar graph, pie chart, map, layout, something like that. So name of the image or illustration should be done in the very first sentence followed up by its introduction and title. So you have to have uh, you have to look at the title given of the image and through which by rephrasing or adding up some more words from your side you will introduce the image what kind of information is given will be seen in this second sentence next what you have to focus on is the highlighting feature which will include the extreme values if you are doing your bar graph the tabular chart or any kind of pie chart or line graph the highlighting feature will be the main point that you really need to emphasize on so in case of table bar graph or line graph it could be the extreme values which could be maximum ones and the minimum ones only because it's not possible for you to cover up all the given facts and figures in just 40 seconds so we will give first preference to the extreme values if any and in addition to that we will try making a contrast by mentioning the contrasting feature for example you mentioned about the maximum values previously then in the next sentence you can mention about the least values and at last will come your conclusion without which your explanation of any image will remain incomplete so these are the main five points which you really need to memorize you really need to remember while doing your describe image task I hope it's clear to you all now let's implement this five point formula one one by one on a line graph let's have a look if we apply the point one and two which was the name of the illustration and the introduction so let's try implementing it over here in this line graph how can we introduce our image so the sentence could be something like this as you can clearly see it's a line graph rather it's a polyline graph so the introduction and name of the image should be given in this manner this polyline graph reveals information about number of visitors per month seen in summer for the year 2013 the data has been calibrated in thousands this will complete your introduction that is point one and two are done in these two sentences so as you can clearly see it's a passive tone here I haven't used the words uh, the active tone especially the words I can see you can see so the passive tone has to be used most importantly remember that and so it will be done something like this the way I told you next let's implement the third point which was the highlighting feature so let's have a look what kind of highlighting features can we find in this polyline graph well it is evident that majority of the visitors in British Museum were seen in July you can clearly see here majority of the visitors in British Museum this line of British Museum were seen in July and which were around 750 thousands because data data is calibrated in thousands and after July there was a decline in their number it is clearly visible here so I hope you got it the main highlighting feature here is this one the majority of the visitors were seen in British Museum which were around 750 thousands and after July there was a decline in their number next would come the contrasting feature let's have a look what the contrasting feature here is 
So for the contrasting feature, the connectors like however, whereas can be used, right? So the, to mention about the contrasting feature, the way in which we can explain it is, however, Natural History Museum had maximum visitors in June. Natural History Museum had maximum visitors in June, which were approximately 550,000. Interestingly, so the word interestingly can act as a neutral connector for you. You can fit it anywhere. Interestingly, Science Museum, Science Museum witnessed huge number of visitors in the month of September that is slightly above 400,000. So just for the quick revision, how can we mention about the contrasting feature in this graph is, however, Natural History Museum had a maximum visitors in June, which were approximately 550,000. Interestingly, Science Museum witnessed a huge number of visitors in September that is slightly above 400,000. So this is how we can proceed for the contrasting feature because we mentioned the highlighting feature in context with British Museum and contrasting feature came along with other two types of museums given. Now, let's move forward towards the conclusion. So to conclude your image, the words initially used could be overall, to sum up, at the end and many more. So to conclude this image, how can we do it? Let's have a look. Overall, it can be said that majority of the visitors preferred going to British Museum, whereas the least preferred the Science Museum. So you can clearly see it over here also. This is what I meant to say regarding the five point formula. So because it's not possible for you to cover up all the values in just 40 seconds. That is the reason I have given you the simple five point formula template, which you can implement in all types of images. In the later on videos, I'll be giving you lot many examples for the same also by applying the same formula. You can do numerous images whether it be a pie chart it could be a line graph a tabular chart it could be a bar graph also right so now let's see the complete structure of the image in 40 seconds how could we have done it all the points have been covered here point one and two in this first paragraph point three in this one point four is here which is the contrasting feature and last point the conclusion is right here so let's have a look the complete structure of the image could be something like this well this polyline graph reveals information about number of visitors per month seen in summer for the year 2013 the data has been calibrated in thousands it is evident that majority of the visitors in British Museum were seen in July and which were around 750,000. After July, there was a decline in their number. However, Natural History Museum had maximum visitors in June who were approximately 550,000. Interestingly, Science Museum witnessed a huge number of visitors in September that is slightly above 400,000. Overall, it can be said that majority of the visitors preferred going to British Museum, whereas the least preferred the Science Museum. So this is your complete structure of describing an image. I hope it's clear to you guys. So let's give it a quick revision what we learned today, important points that you need to keep in mind. Well, to use those 25 seconds which are given as a preparation time in your describe image task, you should use them to analyze the given headings in the image, the labels given could be on the top or at the bottom, and of course the extreme values, which, which could be the maximum ones or the minimum ones. And always make sure that you use the passive tone. Moreover, try making a comparison if possible, which will give a contrasting feature in your answer. You will score more with it. And make sure that you speak at least for 35 seconds out of those given 40 seconds. And do wait for the recorded status. And most importantly, to, you should always avoid 3 seconds pause. Instead of giving 3 seconds pause, if you need 
few seconds to think over a point what you can do is you can use the meaningful fillers or the connectors like and interestingly moreover however instead of just using the fillers so definitely these points will be quite helpful for you i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, that's all for today thanks for watching and uh, to prepare for your pt exam book online class of this month and visit our website www.pttutor.com and register there and email us your queries also thanks for watching everyone stay blessed take care